My name is Lynn Asantisari. I'm about to start my third year of a PhD um, at St John's College. I was born and raised here in South London. I went to school um, in Rains Park and then I went to sixth form in Putney. So I first became interested in studying medicine when I took a trip to Ghana to go and visit my grandmother when she was ill. I was really, really surprised to see how well the doctors treated her and how much her health was improved just by giving her good medicines and good care. And that made me really see that doctors can really make a difference in people's lives and it made me want to become a doctor as well. To prepare to study medicine, I did some um, work experience. So I took a gap year and I spent some time in Nisner, which is in South Africa. And I was working in an A&E department, which was really, really busy. And I also spent some time in um, the maternity wards too. So when I came back from South Africa, I was still really certain that I wanted to become a doctor. However, during that time, a really good friend of mine passed away with leukemia. And I was really surprised to see that even though he had excellent care, the doctors were great, the nurses were fantastic. Um, they couldn't save his life just simply because there weren't the treatments there um, to improve his health. So it made me realize that even with there being great doctors and great nurses and us having a fantastic NHS system, if scientists are not providing new treatments or ways to diagnose cancer earlier, um, then patients' lives still won't be saved. And so it made me decide that actually I really wanted to study science for a while and contribute towards cancer research um, in order to improve treatments for patients in the future. So the area that I lived in, not everybody went to university. Um, but my mum was always really, really passionate about getting me to do well in school. But it wasn't until I realised that I wanted to become a doctor that I then began to research what it would take to, to achieve that. Um, and going to university was one of the things that you just had to do to, to become a doctor. And so that's where my drive to, to go into further education started. Once I started my undergraduate degree in biomedicine, my main focus was to get as much lab experience as possible. So I spent many of my summers and Easter holidays conducting cancer research placements um, in labs that were funded by Cancer Research UK and um, Marie Curie Cancer Care. I then conducted a project at the University of Cambridge and this gave me the opportunity to visit the Cancer Research UK Cambridge Institute, which is part of the clinical school. The labs there were doing incredible science um, that is also translatable into the clinic. So I decided that I really wanted to apply there to do my PhD. I was in Cambridge on the summer placement and one really nice Saturday I decided to explore the city centre. So I was walking down St John's Street and I came across a beautiful big gate and I was drawn in and I decided to go inside the college. Um, and as I was walking through the college I went over a bridge and all of a sudden I ended up at what I now know is called the Backs. Um, and the building was stunning and it was silent and it was peaceful and it was very green and the flowers were wonderful and it just felt right and I really wanted to come here. The two alumni that I'm most inspired by are Frederick Sanger and Paul Dirac. Frederick Sanger won two Nobel Prizes, the first being for discovering how to sequence proteins and the second for discovering how to sequence DNA. This is really inspiring and it just shows that students at St John's really harness their skills and have the opportunity to become great scientists. Paul Dirac also won a Nobel Prize for his work in physics. But what I love about him the most is that he was known for being incredibly awkward. And this, is, this was really inspiring to me because it meant that despite being awkward, he was still a great scientist, he still had a great mind, and St John's still appreciated that. And it was great for me because it means no matter where I come from, no matter my background, I'm here because of my mind and because of my intelligence. My PhD project is trying to see if we can use MRI imaging to monitor the progression of cancer. We already know that during the progression of cancer, there are changes that occur. If we could see this on an MRI scan, 
then we would have a non-invasive way of detecting whether a cancer is going to become invasive, whether it's going to metastasize, or whether it's actually benign and may not become cancerous. I'm studying breast, prostate and pancreatic cancer. What we know so far is that these cancer cells have protrusions around their surface. And these protrusions change as the cancers become more aggressive. As these protrusions change, we want to be able to see this on an MRI scan. So these protrusions are incredibly complicated, okay? And they are made up of several different building blocks, very similar to Lego pieces that are attached on top of each other. Scientists have been able to take these Lego pieces and attach special chemicals to them that allow these pieces to glow. So when you give these chemical Lego pieces to cancer cells, they incorporate them into the protrusions and then you are able to see them under a microscope. So in the future, if we could give these Lego pieces that glow in the dark to patients, then we may be able to see how these protrusions are changing in the patient as their cancer progresses using an MRI scan. I really enjoy studying cancer on a microscopic level. I enjoy being in the lab, but the reality is these cancer cells are actually part of people and I'm trying to help patients. So in the future, I really see my career progressing into clinical academia. Can you not go, lad? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be authentic. Here's, here's an aside, right? Like kind of.